The blue check. Instagram has always provided everyone with an equal voice, a platform to speak out and showcase their lives through videos and photos. With its growing popularity, in 2018, Instagram rolled out the blue check, arguably the most coveted title on social media. This title created a hierarchy on the program, as now verified accounts have first say in direct messages, hashtags, and the comment section. Unfortunately, a small minority of accounts, <coughs> Jonathan Foley, have abused this newfound power. While dropshipping grows in popularity at a rapid pace, there seems to be a gargantuan disconnect in the amount of people that have earned this noteworthy prize. Bia Heza, Dan Voss, Sebastian Gorgia, all grown substantial audiences on YouTube and have remained active on Instagram without receiving the blue check while others with noticeably smaller followings have grasped the blue check. So clearly, there's no correlation between followers and your likelihood of getting verified. Even a random Cali dude who slapped a $497 price tag on a 25 video course received the blue check. So clearly, even clowns can get it. Which is good for me. And this video. Now, I know I'm not the biggest dropshipper in the world, I'm not the face of dropshipping or anything like that. I mean, I've had this YouTube channel for like a month. But when it comes to Instagram, I've been posting every single day there for the past two years. Every single day for nearly two years, dropping at least one post a day, 12 p.m. Eastern, whether it be graphics, videos, daily stories, whatever it is. Honestly, I'm setting the bar for what dropshippers have to do on Instagram. And I feel like after all that dedication of squeezing out literally every single detail of information out of my brain into a graphic or something like that, I should get rewarded. I mean, who wouldn't want a blue check next to their name? I mean, it's one of the coolest things you can have. You gotta listen to me, guys. I didn't have many friends in middle school or high school, so this is a really big deal for me. That Instagram looks for is authenticity in your account. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. authenticity, authenticity. Look at that smile. This is one of the most handsome, authentic guys in the game. Public and complete. Public. Okay, are we public? Yes, sir. Need to have everything filled out in the edit your profile. Okay, need to have everything filled out. So I do have my name in here. I have another name. I have my bio filled out. I have a link. So I would say I'm pretty set there. So the last thing is notable. Your account needs to be notable. And by that, they mean that you or- Yeah, that's, that's, gonna, that's gonna be a little bit of an issue. So how does one become notable? Written about in well-known publications, either in print or on the internet. They're Boom, okay, there we go. There's the golden nugget. So really the key to this, in order to be notable, is I have to be featured on multiple business publications. Somebody has to write about me. So we're gonna see if that has happened in the past. So if I look up my name right now, what does appear? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. It's just a bunch of my soccer stuff. I mean, at the end, there's a podcast that I'm in, but there's no news articles. So clearly, my SEO game is a little bit lacking. If you go on to page two, there is an article I did write for Medium on six steps to building a six-figure store. I'll link that in the bio down below. I was really proud of this article. It took me a while to write. But it turns out that this is not going to be enough. I need to have somebody write an article. I probably need to feature myself on more business podcasts. So this is where we finally get that work in.
All right, everyone, I'm back, and so much has happened. So basically, I'm the greatest dropshipper ever, and I was able to reach out to about 20 different publications about writing an article on e-commerce. So we're going to cover the whole list in a couple seconds, but basically what I did is I sent them all this pretty generic email about how this article I'm about to write for them is going to be really beneficial to them and really just talked about how they're going to benefit, how their readers are going to benefit, and how it's a good thing for them to publish whatever it is I'm about to write. All right, everyone, this is the culprit list of 20 that we made. So Kivo Daily and Medium, the first two options, both you can just create your own account and then publish your article there. So if you wanna get your own article published, use these two, it's completely free. But with Future Sharks, what you have to do is basically do an interview style sort of piece about yourself. They give you guidelines, but at the end of it, they're like, hey, you know, it's 500 bucks. And I'm like, oh my God, you actually have to pay to get your article published here, which I imagine is with most places. But anyone with 500 or 150, I think it's actually 150, can just say they're the Prince of Zimbabwe or anything they want, and they're gonna publish it. They don't care so long as you send them the money, which really makes me question legitimacy of future sharks. So I'm not gonna use Future Shark and I'm not gonna use 7.9 e-commerce because that's also a part of Medium. Now, Relevance is another one where I can just create my own account and just publish my article there. I actually had to email uh, members of their editor team and they're gonna publish an article. They asked me for basically a headshot in my author bio. BuzzFeed is another one where you create your own account and you can publish your article. So the first four, you can pretty much just do it completely free. Now, Miami Times, I sent them a few emails. Unfortunately, they didn't respond back. I'll show you exactly what I sent them. So with the Miami Herald and the Miami Times, I basically sent them two emails where I'm like, hey, I'm Ethan Dobbins. I'm an e-commerce god who has taught thousands of entrepreneurs how to start their own successful business, blah, 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 blah. I also graduated recently from the Miami area. So I thought maybe that could help me out. But unfortunately, they didn't respond back, even though at the end of the email, I even said, I look forward to hearing back from you. What kind of monster reads an email like that and doesn't respond back? I even sent them a rough draft of what I was going to send to them. So I'll show you what that article looks like. I proofreaded it. I put it into grammarly.com. So you know, it was legit. It was six. So it's eight pages long. Wow. I actually did a lot. So I'm just going to do the word count real quick. We'll take a look. 2,338 words of my best strategies, my blood, sweat, and tears to learn all this. And they just rejected me. What? This reminds me of every single girl in high school. So yeah, we're gonna have to cross off the Miami Times and the Frisky is probably my favorite newspaper. I'm just gonna show you real quick. I didn't do much research into the Frisky. I just heard it was an e-commerce thing from one of my publisher friends, but look at what this is. Yeah, I don't really know about this. I don't think the 10 hottest, oh my God. Uh, so yeah, for business reasons, we're gonna cross that one out. So now we are down to the final 16. I sent two emails out to every single person on this list. And unfortunately, no one really responded back to me. In fact, this is going to be the main five, and they're pretty much all ones that I could have already posted an article without sending them an email. So I decided to combat this. I need help from an outside source who knows what they're doing. So the hot.com is a PR service team that really specializes in getting your PR out there to the world and getting publications to pick it up. Because really the hard part about this is you have to sort of contact a bunch, like hundreds of different publications just so that it gets picked up by a few. And if it gets picked up by, you know, some big ones like ABC, NBC, you know, the affiliates of them, then that's how I can really rank higher on Google. So this is my first article that I wrote. It's basically an interview where I talk about myself, my e-commerce stores, and I give actionable advice. So we did 1400 words for this interview. It was really short. I wanted it to be to the point and that's perfect for SEO because you want it to be around 1000 to 1500 words. And then with this article did 2300 words. Now, even though I've already written two articles that I'm gonna be publishing in Medium and Kivo Daily, Buzzfeed, whatever it is, I also wanna have a third article out there because guys, I really wanna get verified. I'm trying to get myself some credibility out in these streets it's so hard out here but i live in these streets these streets own me so what i'm gonna do is pay 150 bucks for a writing and distribution package where they write my own pr thing i'm sure they're more experienced they know what they're doing so it's 500 words up to three links and it's distributed to a hundred plus news outlets so the chance of me getting picked up is really high I am really looking forward to in a couple days working with the Hoth, getting that article published and seeing how many different publications will actually pick it up. And after all that shenanigans is done, we will finally apply for Instagram verification and see if we did enough. Oh man. Well guys, it is three days in the future and there's some good news and some bad news. I always believe in delivering the bad news first and what I have to say will be shocking to you. 
Unfortunately, it does take about two to three weeks for the Hoot to write their article about me and then send it for me to review and then eventually share it to all these different publications, write those messages, use those connections to eventually get me on those major papers. So I'm at a crossroads where I could wait another two, three weeks and publish this video or I can do a two-parter. And you can probably guess by the title what I did. I am sorry to leave you on a cliffhanger like this. I really wanted to figure it out. I haven't even applied for the Instagram verification yet because I just want to make sure we have all the parts, that we have all our ammo ready so that when we do apply, we got all this evidence that I am notable, that I do know what I'm talking about, and I am trustworthy. But the good news is in a couple weeks, we will finally find out the truth. Can I get verified? So if you want to stay tuned and finally figure out if I get verified or not, make sure to subscribe right now. Leave a like on the video because I will be posting the second part in a couple of weeks once we get everything out there to the world. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video. It took forever to make, especially that montage. It took me like a couple hours to film all that, and it was only like a minute of the actual video. But my name's Ethan Dobbins, and it has been a pleasure getting to entertain you.